Right, so we've had a look at the Hurricane Tube and how it operates on a sort of fairly simple level. Uh, and I'm not going to make any apology now for making this appear highly complex, because it can be. Uh, we know it can be simple, and it can be complex too, and everywhere in between. So we've got, under the shroud, we've got both receivers, radio and iPad receiver. Here's an iPad set to a color mix mode. Um, so that's operating. I'm also sitting on a radio switch, which I can operate by tapping it. Um, both things are controlling it. This is mixing, this is overruling. Whatever the system gets last, that's what it's going to do. The color cube is one of many radio switches that we, that we sell. It sends the signal, sends a signal about whatever's uppermost. So as you throw it across the room, it, it sort of sends a whole bunch of signals out. It's quite good fun, and then settles on the last one, which is the uppermost one. And these two things are both sending signals to the hurricane tube. And that's typical for all of our large interactive kit. Uh, the, the, the switches, if you like, the iPad and the, and the cube here are sold separately, as are the receivers that will turn any of our large sensory equipment into part of the sort of the, the family uh, and allow you to control the room in as complex or as simple a way as you like. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, the first that we've done on sensory equipment. There'll be more to come, uh, so please enjoy them. There'll be one, I imagine, on the, on the iPad, there'll be one on the Cube, so don't worry if you were confused, kind of the idea was to, was to show how simple this can be as well as the potential that uh, is, is uh, made possible only by adding complexity. So thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed it.